Okay, here I'm going to show us uh, show everybody how to um, do a hard reset on the Motorola Atrix. Basically, um, these things once you fill up uh, your phone with a bunch of apps and just junk in general, um, it ends up <clears throat> running really slow. So this phone is just I mean you see it there. It's so slow right now that it's hard to hard to use. Um, <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to um, Turn the phone off, the power off, and what this is going to do is we're going to end up putting this back to the way you got it when it was handed to you at the store. Um, it'll come into Moto Blur. Okay, now when we turn the phone on. <clears throat> What we're going to want to do is hold the volume down button and then press the power button. Once you see fast boot, you can let off um, and then hit the volume down key until we see Android Recovery. There's Android Recovery. I know it's hard to see here, but we'll now you hit power. You hit volume up to select it now once you get to this point <clears throat> you're gonna wanna hold the volume up and down buttons at the same time and just pop it here you are you're gonna see reboot system now apply update from SD card wipe data factory reset and wipe cache partition um, you can wipe card cache partition first um, but doing the data factory reset will reset um, the entire phone, cache and all. Um, you're going to hit the power button to select it. Then you're going to arrow down to yes, delete all user data. Hit the power button again to select. And it'll start doing its thing. Um, be sure that you all of your contacts are backed up to Google. Make sure that you have... Um, you know any passwords anything you have because once you do this there's no coming back you it's wiped out all right once it's done you're gonna get you're gonna come back to the same screen you just saw and it'll already have Reboot system now highlighted. I know you can't see that, but that's your first selection. <clears throat> You're going to hit the power button. And we'll wait for it to boot up. And there we are. We are at the Moto Blur screen, um, exactly the way it is when you first turned it on. Um, good luck. If you have any questions, um, you can go to AndroidAdvice.com, and um, I'll have the instructions along with this video there as well, and the link will be in the description of this video. Thanks. Good luck.